how to use REST API and Groovy to run a data map in EPBCS. To run a data map using a business rule, you have to use a Groovy business rule to call the data map. However, only administrators can kick off Groovy rules, not end users. Luckily, there's a workaround to this issue. This entails tricking the system into using the admin account to run the Groovy business rule, even though the end user kicked off the job. In order to do this, we use a combination of Groovy business rules, REST API, and a loopback connection. Note, this process is only supported in ePBCS, not PBCS. To start, click on the Navigator menu, then click on Connections. On the Connections screen, click Create, then click on Oracle EPM Cloud. In the Connection Details screen, in the Connection Name field, enter a name for your loopback connection. In the URL field, enter the URL of the system you are currently on. In the Service Administrator field, Enter your identity domain, followed by a period, and your admin user ID. Enter your password and click Validate. Once you've connected successfully, click OK and then click on Save and Close. Your loopback connection has now been created successfully. Next, we'll create our Groovy rule. Create a new business rule, open it, click on Edit Script, and then select Groovy Script. Input the Groovy code shown here. And replace where it says Sample Data Map with the name of your data map. Then validate save and deploy the rule. Next, we'll create a Groovy rule with REST API. Open the new business rule, select Edit Script, and select Groovy Script for script type. Enter the code shown here. Replace the job name of Sample Data Map Groovy with the Groovy business rule that you created. Replace where it says loopback rest with the name of the loopback connection that you created. And replace where it says EPBCS with the name of your planning application. This script will call the Groovy business rule using the credentials stored in the loopback connection. Those admin credentials will allow the data map to be run without the limitations. Save the rule, deploy it, and then run it. Check your jobs for the status of the rules. The REST API rule should complete successfully and should call the Groovy rule, which should also complete successfully.